What's up guys? It's Zoe TV. Today's video, I want to show you 10 things you should be doing to prepare for mutations coming to New World. So one of the first things you're going to want to do if you're interested in running these higher tier mutations is start getting your ward gear set up. Uh, get your Ancient Ward set up, your Angry Earth Ward, your Corrupted Ward. Uh, this will allow you to clear the higher tier mutations a lot easier. Now, the main thing you're going to be wanting to look for is a good stat for yourself and some good perks. I don't think luck will you know, necessarily matter as much. So, like, if you look at this piece right here, it has Corrupted Ward uh, perk. Now this one's not as good as you know some, but it has decks and in, in depending what you're going, this could be ideally a, a, a piece for you. So start getting your ward gear set up. That'll make it a lot easier to clear the higher tier dungeons if you're not doing it. Uh, start looking at the trade stations, put together sets yourself, uh, and I'll give you some other ideas uh, a little bit later in the video. The second thing you're going to want to make sure you're, you're doing to prepare for mutations is make sure you're stockpiling your gypsums. Make sure you're getting as many gypsums as you're able to each day. And what I mean by that is go and craft your gypsum orbs. You know, your sapphire, your obsidiums. Get all your, as much as you can each day, craft them and stockpile them. And then this will allow you to get uh, 600 almost instantly on the first day. Uh, so one of the other things you're going to want to be doing on top of this, and this is kind of like number two and three, is make sure you're doing your cast each day. Uh, that way you can get almost, as I said, 600 on the first day. So you can look at my inventory right here i have a bunch of the casts already saved up and i'm hoping we haven't heard anything yet but i'm hoping once the update comes out i'll be able to use all these casts that i have saved up and i'll be able to get 600 on the first day but only time will tell so make sure you're doing all your orbs each day you're saving them and you're stockpiling all your casts. And what I would do, unless you have a, a bunch of extra uh, gypsum orbs like I do, I would only do the ones that you really need. Definitely your armor and then maybe just one weapon and some of your jewelry. Or if you don't even have that many, do just maybe your weapons. Uh, it really depends on how much you have. The fourth thing you're going to want to be doing is make sure you have as many major trophies as you can up. Uh, major trophies will give you the biggest benefit. Now, some people, this is debatable. They'll be like, oh, it's not really worth it. It only gives you 1% more than the, the basics. Uh, it's not really worth it. But think of it this way. If you have five people in your group, every person has a ma their major trophies. That's 3% per person that's 15 percent more damage you could be doing throughout the dungeon that could make the difference of you clearing the dungeon or not clearing the dungeon so if you're able to get your major trophies please get your major trophies if you can't at least get all your basic trophies and what trophies you should make sure you get make sure you get your basic angry earth make sure you get your basic corrupted your basic ancients make sure you have at least that bare minimum because those trophies are fairly cheap uh, on my server right now i think ancient femurs which are used to craft the basic trophy are like a thousand fifteen hundred gold depending on when you buy them uh, so yeah, make sure you get all those trophies and the other thing is if you're you play a little bit and you want and you're interested You can actually farm the major trophy parts uh, This is a little tip if you watch this part of the video There's there's a couple different spots. The one is right here in uh, Skyview repose then and you're gonna want to kill the surgeon here. He's really easy to kill you can kill him solo uh, the other guy is over here in Ebon Scale. He is up here next to uh, Sky Song Crypt. He is right here. Um, it's like uh, Morty the Matician, I believe he is. He, he's that little guy that has the grave on his back. 
Uh, he gives you the Inferium Seal that crafts the Lost Ancient, not sorry, that crafts the, the Major Lost Trophy. Uh, you can solo kill him. His drop rate's not that great. Uh, the other guy you can kill yourself and farm and sell, which is really good money, is Pit Lord. Uh, he is up here in Shattered Mountain. Uh, and he is right uh, here ish. Here ish. He's like right there. So you can kill him also. He's fairly easy to kill. There's a lot of uh, Ori ore up there. And there's a lot of tentacles, so be careful if you do go up there. Because the Pit Lord guy is pretty easy to kill, but the tentacles and everything else, it's, just, it's usually a very contested area. Uh, but he drops the Corrupted Totem, which you're going to want to look for for your major trophy. Um, and then, ta -ta -ta, oh, the other one you can farm here in uh, Eden Grove is at the top of uh, this tower here and it's Bane's. He drops the Glowing Sap, which is used for the Angry Earth Trophy. And from my experience, this drops really, really often. Um, I've only farmed this for a couple hours and I've gotten two of them. My other buddy's done one with, like, farmed with me for like an hour. He's gotten one, someone else I know has gotten one. So I think this drops quite a bit. Uh, so definitely farm this guy if you're able to. And this is Bane's. He's at the top of this tower here. The fifth thing is faction tokens. If you're not doing so already, make sure you're stockpiling faction tokens. Because uh, once mutations hit, you will be able to buy one key a week from your faction vendor. It's going to be 10,000 faction tokens, 1,000 gold, unless they change it between now and this video posting. Uh, and then the other way is you'll be able to craft one key. So you'll be able to get two keys a week, one from the faction vendor, one crafting. And then obviously you'll be able to get your normal keys that you can craft each week. So make sure you're stockpiling your faction uh, tokens. Now, one thing I would like to point out that you will be able to do, which is very, very, very nice, is you will now be able to trade your corrupted lodestone. You'll be able to trade your chisels. You won't have to go out and farm that yourself. You can just buy them. They're tradable uh, before they were bind on pickup, so you couldn't trade them, and it was a major pain because you'd have to farm the corrupted lodestones, which are used to craft your keys for, you know, Garden of Genesis and Lazarus and all those keys and if you're doing arenas or whatever uh but yeah you you, you need your chisels uh and you also need your load zones they're both boe now so you can trade them you can buy them off the market uh the only thing that you won't be able to buy on the market are those mutated orbs so you're going to want to make sure you have some faction tokens unlike me i don't have any right now uh it's 10k make sure you stock up beforehand at least do your your dailies your three dailies that you get because you get like 3x or whatever it is each day so do that each day the sixth tip for this is start stockpiling 590 gear with good perks the devs confirmed once you guys hit 600 expertise you will be able to upgrade 590 592 593 whatever up to 600 gear score with umbral shards now keep in mind from what i read and what i've heard now though if it's like you know obviously if it's a 590 purple when you upgrade it to 600 it's still going to be purple but it's going to be 600 gear score purple uh now this is great so this what, what this will allow you to do is get your 600 gear with good two perks and then you'll be able to set up yourself for mutations a little bit better. You know, where it was a lot harder to do this before. Now, this is a little bit uh, of a, a, a note, too, if you watch this video. So one thing to keep in mind now, what this will allow you to do, a couple of things this will allow you to do. So now what you can do is you can craft some good 590 gear. What you can do is use, like, uh, Tolvium. And then uh, glittering ebony and then runic leather and you can craft 590 out of 590 and then craft like 20 of them and have it only cost like 2000 and you can get pick the best one or two shields out of the 20 that you craft 
and then you can j bump umbral shards and then make it 600 okay so then you could do the same thing with all the armor so say if you don't have a piece of jewelry or a piece your chest plate you're missing a chest plate so then you could do your chest plate and then you could get a 600 gear score item with two good perks and then later you can upgrade it and get you know three good perks on it because one of the benefits of getting a leggy at 600 is it has an extra perk and then you know but uh, you can still get that 600 with two good perks and it'll be a lot better than the other piece. So that's one thing you're going to want to start doing. And another thing this might allow you to do too is pick up some pieces and make some good profit off of them. You might be able to buy something for 100 gold, upgrade it to 600 and flip it and make, you know, 10, 20,000. It, it might be a good way to make a little profit. So definitely be looking for you know some five five hundred uh, sorry five nineties with two good perks um and this kind of leads into you know my number six and my number seven as i said because you can craft uh craft your gear too so you can craft armor you can craft weapons uh it just has to be from 590 uh and up you'll be able to upgrade with to, with umbral shards now keep in mind again i believe you have to be 600 expertise before you'll be able to upgrade a piece with umbral shards the eighth thing you're going to want to do is make sure you run all the dungeon this one is very easy just make sure you run all the dungeons that's it uh if it's anything like ptr you have to run the dungeon at least once to do the mutation. You don't want to be that guy. You get a mutation group to go do Lazarus. And God forbid you haven't done Lazarus before. And you can't enter the mutation because you haven't done it before. Or you go try to do Dynasty. And you can't do the mutation because you haven't done Dynasty before. So from my experience, you have to do all the... You have to do all the dungeons on a regular mode before you can do the mutation. So, run all the dungeons at least once. The ninth thing is save all your keys. Save all your keys. You're gonna wanna run obviously as much dungeons as possible and try to get to 590 before mutations hit. But if you have keys yourself, make sure you're saving them. Because one of the best ways to get loot is expeditions. They're going to be increasing the drop rate significantly from the patch notes in expeditions. So make sure you're saving your keys, you're crafting your keys, and you're getting set up to craft any keys that you may have not on cooldown or coming up, you know, more so once uh, mutations hit. So be ready because prices will probably go up on your server for keys and stuff to craft keys. So save your keys, craft your keys, and be ready. And the last thing, the tenth, may seem like a no-brainer, but stockpile your potions. Make sure you have your infused potions. Uh, I'm gonna go pretty much over everything. I'm gonna try to have it set up. I'm gonna have my infused regeneration potions. That's these bad boys right here. I'm gonna have my infused health potions. I'm gonna have my oak flesh bombs. Now I will have better oak flesh bombs. I'm not gonna be running the weak oak flesh bombs, but I will have better versions. Uh, the other thing is make sure you have your honing stones. Make sure you have your plus 30 or plus 40 food, uh, or your focus food or your con food stock up. Make sure you get a couple stacks because all this stuff is gonna go up in price because everybody's gonna wanna be running more and more dungeons because the dungeons will be the best way to get good loot the best way they they it like they increase the drop rate and the dungeons are like the best now uh so make sure you're stockpiling all your food now that way you don't have to spend a ton of money uh if you're cooking this might be a good way for you to make money down the road and then save for once mutations come out and then you can drop it and then you can probably make a bunch of money now the other thing to keep in mind is they're gonna be fixing i believe the focus food uh if i'm not mistaken the one fish was using the wrong the wrong legendary ingredient uh i 
th I think it's this one. I can't remember the fish. I can't remember the fish, but it's the fo plus 40 focus food. You can go look it up if you if you like. I know it, I can't remember the name offhand, but the plus 40 focus food is going to be fixed this patch. The, the legendary version, it was useless before. It said it was used in the crafting, and it wasn't. It was the wrong ingredient. So if you want to make some money, stock up on that bad boy. But other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment below or stop by the stream. I'm sure I'll be streaming a little bit later after this video goes live. Um, make sure you stop and hit that like and sub. And again, make sure you're ready for mutations. This video is more so to try to get everyone geared and set up for mutations. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty much it. Hopefully it was a kind of like a no-brainer. Uh, little easy video for everyone. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. I'll see you later.